Where's the Where's the remote? I need the remote. So, is it, is it gonna pop up yet? Let me see. Huh. Still nothing popping up. I'm gonna refresh this page. Still nothing. Well, the the page oh, here is, is, the here page is. is up right now is your here, picture. Make sure it's muted. Yeah, back in effect. Back in effect. Yeah, back in effect. You know what I mean? Back in effect. What's good? What's good? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm here to stay now. Now I'm, I'm permanent. I'm permanent. Uh, I'm back permanent now. You know what I mean? I took a little break. You know what I mean? But now I'm back in effect though. You know what I mean? So, so, me, so salute, salute, salute. I ain't going by Pops no more. You know I mean? I'm going by Yakan. That's my um. That's my name. So. No I man. Aliyah gonna be joining us real soon, so about to start building again. You dig? Let me fix this joint. Let me see. I gotta get used to all this stuff again. Yeah. Let me wait for everybody to come in. Let me some people come in. Hopefully. I just gotta get started again, you dig? Well, I'm back though, man. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. You know what I mean? Subscribe to, to the channel. You know what I mean? I'm here I'm here full effect now. You know what I mean? Every day or every other day, I'm gonna be putting out content and letting y'all know what it is. For real. You know what I'm saying? Let's gotta get started again. Fresh out the gate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that title's still on there, man. <laughs> you working on it? Yeah, uh, shout out to the people in Kick. I can't. Um, hold on, let me see. Matter of fact, let me switch over. Let me switch over. Yeah. It's already set up. That's the green. Factor, what's good with you? Love from Long Beach, California. What up? What up? What up? Who's that? Big, what's good with you? Yeah, I'm back now, man. You know, it's been a while. You know what I mean? But I'm. I'm dedicated, you know what I'm saying, to uh to uh, bring content every day. I took a low, a long little high hiatus, you know I mean, but now I'm back though. So I watch Aaliyah and you on Aaliyah's reaction channel all the time, showing love to uh, Delaware. Yeah, I man, salute to Delaware. Salute, 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 salute. I mean, salute to Delaware. No doubt. Yeah, I'm back though, man. A lot of content coming, man. Yeah, a lot of content coming. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all having a good day today. You know what I'm saying? We're about to have a Leah in here, you know, soon. What y'all think about, um... Yo, uh, what y'all think about that um, little mambo, um... Reaction that we did, like like people, 
People got some negative comments about that reaction. It's crazy. Anyway, I mean, Pop Dukes, listen, you know what I mean? Your kind is in full effect, man. He said, I, I didn't see that. I said, check it out. Yeah, check it out. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, I'm, like, I ain't going to play it right now for him. But, yeah, but check it out, though. I said, the only thing I said about Shorty was he was too young. But we're going to get into that. You know what I mean? Sumer Leah coming here. I don't know. We're going to get into that. What up, um, who's that? Two K, go. What up? What's up, bro? Salute, salute, salute. Everybody in the building, salute. Support, yo. Support the movement. You know what I'm saying? Right here, my official channel. I'm going to be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Every day or every other day, bringing content to the table. You dig what I'm saying? I'm coming to, you know what I'm saying, bring back that that knowledge, but without all the, the other stuff. We had, I did family table talk, you know what I mean, probably about a year and some change. Some things happened that made me want to fall back because a lot of, you know what I mean, a lot of this, uh, a lot of creep dudes be online, man, and y'all got to be careful, you know what I'm saying, with that. So, I kind of shut that channel down, and that was all about all about me. I did the same thing about him. The other little kid, the age rapping. What's good? What's good? What's good, uh, Tay? What's good? Yeah. Check Twitch. Will be just Check Twitch. Let me see. Why, why is it not popping up? I just lost everything, bro. Okay. I just lost everything. It's not popping up over there. I don't know, but shout out to my... Hold on. It's not popping up. It's right there on the TV. Yeah, okay. It's on the TV. I'm going to just go back to this. I'm on... Yeah. I'm going back and forth. Hey, Pops, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You gotta turn me up or I, I'm good. No, I'm gonna turn you up. Girl, speak now. Speak now. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I rated you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's what happened on Twitch. Salute to my daughter. She she hooked me up. She rated me. You dig? <laughs> yeah, she rated me. Yeah. It's so, matter of fact, hold on. Let me get to the. Yo, um. I'm going to read the chat on one side. All right. Here she go. If you tell your Discord, you can see me. All right. Yeah, like, can you see me now? Yeah, I can see you, Pops. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no God. doubt. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. It said title now? said what? I don't even think I have a box for that. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm about to just go. Your mother doing it. Your mom's doing it. She's doing it. She's doing it right now, she said. Oh, okay, okay. Man, she said she's doing it. I'm good. All right. Let me see something. Yeah. Change, so. Um, huh? Change it on your stream so they can see me too. All right. So, so, all right. so, so can they see this on the what's the name now? Click Discord. Oh, nah, you got to click it on your OBS. Where is it? Hold like on. I told oh. you. I just did that. I'm on there right now. Did you change to the middle one? The show screen? Hold on. His let, name hold on, show screen? Hold on. Let me go back. Hold on. Show screen. Mm -hmm. And then go back. And then go back to, to. Yeah. Go back to the Discord. All right. Is it in there now? Oh, you pops. Yeah. All right, is it in there now? Okay. They can see. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I got to get used to this, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, so I gotta get Bobby used to it. Bobby said, "What's going on, Pops?" Who? Bobby. Bobby, what's good? I see him. Yeah, I see him. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? You can see both your chats. No, nah, I can see um just the my one. Okay, just okay. the the um, what's that? Uh, 
Oh, uh, Twitch. I Gary, can see the Twitch. Kick is on your computer. Yeah, but I gotta keep switching. Oh, it's okay, yeah. All right, so what chat can you see? The Twitch one? Yeah, and then I can see it, yeah. Can't see it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, um, chat, this pops first stream back, so <sighs> bear with him. You feel me? You're gonna get it all situated. Um, no, yeah, most, no, yeah, like most definitely, I'm gonna get everything situated. Yeah. Let me see something. But you good, though? Yeah, I'm good though. Yes, yes, again in this conversation. So <laughs> today we're gonna talk about um parenting, basically. Because uh, me and me and Leah did a reaction on um little uh what's the name? Little Mambo? Little Mambo. Mm -hmm. And people had a problem with what I was saying, but I was but I was telling the truth about the whole situation. Um I mean we both were. How old is he? How old is that little kid? RT, I, I think he's like seven or eight, bruh. Seven, eight years old. I'm about to Google actually. Hold on. I mean, like seven, eight, eight years old. old. Yeah, like see how old he is. But anyway, it was it was basically about. Oh, he's uh, nine, pops. Call. That's even worse. That's even worse. Now, when you have, when you decide to have children, male or female, when you talk, when when anybody decides to have children. The first thing you need to um like understand is how you gonna raise your children. Mm -hmm. Like that's the first thing you need to know. How you gonna raise your children? Are you gonna let the internet or or society or their peers raise your children, or are you gonna raise your children? That's the okay. that, like that's the whole question about it. So most most people they lazy when it comes to raising their children properly. They don't teach them manners. Um, they don't teach them respect. They don't teach them um, how to um, how to how to talk to people, because the parents don't have they don't have no respect. They don't have no morals. They don't have no values. So that's what you're seeing. You know what I'm saying? And um, I look at his parents, whoever's like whoever raised you, shorty. He um, they doing a horrible job, off the like off the top. Mm -hmm. So, the first thing you need to know when you having children is, how are you going to raise your children? Are you going to raise them? Are you going to have society raise them, or are you going to have, or are you going to learn how to raise them properly and, and like raise them with, with morals and values? You know what I'm saying? But um, I just googled Mabu's age, and he's 18. 18 years old, doing a song with a nine year old. Talking about spinning the block on the ops, you know what I mean? Cursing, using foul language, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah. that's not. But people are mad at us because we basically were saying like, "Where's his parents?" and letting like Mabu influence him, which, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what he's doing. Right. And now people are mad because. Mabu is obviously like just a saint in their eyes and he does no wrong <laughs> for me. And even him doing the song with a nine year old like that is nothing wrong with it to them. Right. But like it's a nine year old at the end of the day, it's a child. Right. Cause so yeah. Society is dumbed down today. Nobody like they don't care. Like they feel like, oh, we hating. I, for for one, I have no hate in my heart towards Mambo. I don't know that man. I, I wish him, I wish him well. But anybody know about New York City? Um, we have neighborhoods in Manhattan called Park Avenue. A lot of rich, rich like like a lot of uh, young rich dudes like him. They got, they live in Park Avenue, and them mad expensive brownstones, and they got. Limousines and butlers and and uh, 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 maids, the whole nine yards. So it's no reason for him to even be coming to the to the hood, making those songs about ops and, and starting beef with uh, uh, rappers like uh, Blueface. Making you know what I'm saying? It's no reason for him to do that. He can he can easy he got money. He can easily go to school and like go to Harvard or Yale some damn where. You know what I'm saying? To do his thing. So, yeah. is is Mambu a culture vulture? Mm -hmm. Is he? 
Is he a culture I mean, vulture? To me, I he, feel like to me he, he doesn't is. have to do what he does. So therefore, he is. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the way with the way that he glorifies the hood and everything. Like, I don't know. But he's not. He but he, do all that. but he's not glorifying nothing. Like um the um the reaction me and you did when he did the song with uh what's the rapper from Brooklyn that he did the song with where where he couldn't say the n word. What was that? Who, oh, who was Avio. That? Yeah. No, people didn't have a problem with that. Like I had a problem with that, but exactly. No, but they say oh. You have a problem every time that we react to Mabu, and then they always cuss me out because I have you react to Mabu, knowing that you're gonna say something about him. What's up, Hollywood? Yeah. Like. Right. But it, it's he's a problem regardless. Right. Is what they're not understanding. Right. Like Denzel was good. Denzel, Denzel said was the word. What's good? What's good? What's good, bro? So. Was good. So, my thing is this. Okay, now let's get down to the nitty gritty here. Black people already have enough problems as it is. We have black on black crime. We got drugs. We got dysfunctional families. Not everybody, but a large amount. In, in every neighborhood, we have that. So, when I'm sitting here talking about Shorty should not be rapping and saying the things he's saying, I'm not saying it out of, out of hate. I'm saying it out of love. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't I, like. I don't wish none of them no no ill will. But for us, like we got to be hating on them. Why I got to be hating? Because a nine year old is using curse words and talking gang gang on all that. Like like come on, bro. They know that's not cool, bro. Everybody know that's not cool. So parents, I blame the parents because where do we start from? The home. Everything mm -hmm. starts from the home. So you nine times out of ten, his parents probably use foul language. They probably mm -hmm. dysfunctional. And I'm not I'm not stereotyping them. I'm just if he's like that, then that means that they like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I say things in reactions, I'm not saying it out of hate. I'm saying it because it's the truth. No okay. nine. If he had active parents. Who was like raising him? Then he would be like that, or he wouldn't be easily influenced like that. No, if he had parents that had morals and values, exactly. Then he would. Then he would exactly. He wouldn't be saying. He wouldn't be. He wouldn't be using it. He wouldn't even yeah. be. He wouldn't be like. He should be making music about playing in the um playing in the park, playing basketball. You know what I mean? Uh, right, like like freaking sliding down the slides. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's the stuff he, that he should be talking about. He talking about like violence and come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? But so, like, I, so I'm not wrong for that. I'm not wrong how, for saying. I just feel like that's how like kids should be raised. It's like me and you. You like actively raised me and are actively in my life. Right. So not only would I not do certain things, but I'm also not like easily influenced to act a certain way or to do things because of how I was raised. Right. So, like, that was the whole point of the reaction while we were getting on Babu is because it should not be like that. He should not be influencing him at all in that way or manner, like, at all. Yeah, but didn't, but yeah, but didn't, um, didn't, um, that kid make a song before he did that song with Mambo? Yeah, but I do, I do need to, I do need to have you react to that. But that goes back to the parents. Like you were saying, so like but, he was already like this before Mabu. So, but, but I'm saying but, Mabu is not helping like him. So, you know what I'm saying? So let me ask you a question: Is that song is this is the song you want me to react to worse than that song that we just um reacted I'm to with Mabu? I'm gonna tell you that. I'm not gonna tell you that. <laughs> you just have to react to it. All right, I'm, I'm gonna react to it. No, mm -hmm. that reaction gonna come soon. Yeah, I'm gonna react to it. I'm gonna react to it. Yeah, I'm gonna react to it. Like Mabu didn't make him how he is. Right. It's his home, his lifestyle, his parents. You know, like right. as a whole. So the so the number one thing to the parents in his world is if you have children, you need to discipline your children. 
Um, if you don't know how to discipline your children, then you need to go get some help. Go talk to a pastor. Go talk to counselors. Go talk to a psychiatrist. Whoever, whoever, it's it's so. Read some books on how to be. It's it's it's, it's like tons of books on how to be a parent. Yeah. <laughs> What? But should but should but should you be having kids if you don't know how to discipline your children? No, you shouldn't. But they're not gonna. I mean, but they're not gonna listen. They're I'm not gonna saying listen. In general, they're like, not gonna listen. They're not gonna listen. I mean, people out here having babies all willy nilly out this joint. They're not yeah. gonna listen. So I mean, but I'm saying is, but it's it's a lot of resources that you could go to on on how to be a parent, on how to be a good parent. Like the number one thing is teaching your children manners. Right. Not cursing, not using no foul language, um, having respect for their elders, you, the father, the mother, um, their aunts, their uncles, their grandparents, having respect for them, talking to them with respect. That's like that's mandatory. I be seeing kids, I be seeing kids, I be seeing kids out here. I mean, screaming at they, they moms, they pops. Like I mean, totally disrespecting them, falling all over the floor in the store. You know what I mean? Just, just like, just like randomly have no respect. But that's the number one thing. Um, yeah. um, number two is making sure that you pay attention to what your children is into on the internet. I think, um, like, like, like what they watching, what they listening to, who they around, like in their neighborhood when they go outside. Making sure that you are paying attention to who they're hanging out with, um, who house they going to. Like all that's all that's relevant. All that's relevant. You know what I'm saying? Um, making sure that you are having conversations with your children about um peer pressure, about about drugs. Not like those don't say drugs is bad, but explain to them why is drugs why is why is drugs bad. Explain to them. Have a conversation. Yeah. Tell them that they should not be having sex until they are in a committed uh, uh marriage relationship. You know what I'm saying? I mean, really, really sitting down having conversations with them, not just saying, oh, you knew better, but you ain't teach them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you ain't teach them nothing, but you saying, oh, but you knew better than that. But I can easily sit here and say, if I'm a child, and, like, you ain't teach me nothing, but then when I do something wrong that you didn't like, you say, and say I knew better. But I can easily say, but, but hold up, but you ain't teach me. You ain't have a conversation with me. You ain't tell me that think, this was bad. Yeah. You know what I'm that's saying? When, that's when it all goes back to, like, as a parent... Yeah, you're supposed to feed your kids. You're supposed to put a roof over their heads, clothes on their back. That's what you're supposed to do. Right. That's automatically your job once you right. give birth to a child. Right. But it goes back to like being involved and actually parenting and raising is different right. than their needs right. of a child. Right. So like that's a, that's another thing I think that parents need to like learn yeah, is but, that but they you need to parent to actually be a parent and not you know. A lot of but a lot of parents is lazy. They feel like, oh, you have a roof over your head, you have clothes on your back, and you got food. I'm doing my job, but no, you have like everybody got to go further than that. You just can't, you know what I'm saying? Like you just can't say, well, that's it. No, you got to sit down and give them the game about life. Point yeah. blank, period. You got to give them the game. If you ain't giving them game, the internet's gonna give them the game. The rappers is gonna give them the game. Uh, they friends that's out here doing something negative. They gonna give them the game. Okay. You supposed to give them the game, and explain to them. Don't if you do this, this is gonna happen to you. If you do that, that's gonna happen to you. So everything that you do is always a consequence. It ain't just oh you can just go out here and do whatever you want to, but then it's not gonna be uh, an actual consequence behind it. Like you know what I'm saying. Like so if you. If I have a son, matter of fact, with you, matter of fact, the, you my daughter. So, <laughs> um, me and your mother have raised you, but we taught you the game. Mm -hmm. We taught you morals and values. We gave you that. But I wasn't taught that. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I mean, like, my parents didn't really sit down and really give me the game. It was just like... Like it, like like anything I did, they was like, "Oh, you knew better than that." But you ain't teach me. But we taught you. You know what I'm saying about every aspect of uh, like about life that we have the knowledge about. We taught you. Um, yeah. one the number one thing was sex. 
We had conversations about that. You know what I'm saying? Save yourself for marriage. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so you are not out here getting into things because, like, sex is one of the biggest things that most fathers, like, like myself, when you have a daughter, <laughs> bro, it's a, it's a, it's a stressful thing, bro. It's a stressful thing. That's about it. So, I gave you the game. But see, people think sex is probably one of the biggest things that get people caught up all the time because they thinking that um, if I have sex, um, nothing's gonna happen to me. But yeah. anything can happen to you when you have sex. You can get pregnant. You can fall in love with somebody that don't want to be with you, and then now you over here <laughs> gave them your your goods, <laughs> right. and now that person is gone. You can get an STD. You know what I'm saying? So we gave you the game. So we taught you, okay, if you do this, do this, and do this, this is going to happen to you. And parents need to sit down with their children and freaking discuss that. Oh, mom asks, um, how important is it to discuss raising children with your partner before you get into a relationship with them? Very important. The first thing you need to do when you meet somebody is y'all need to sit down and talk about, okay, I love you, you love me, we in this relationship. And we're going to get married, but before we get married, we got to discuss how we're going to raise our children. That's the number mm -hmm. one thing. You know what I'm saying? That's very important. Y'all got to gotta think of it like some, okay, nowadays, like girls getting pregnant and they leaving the dad before the baby even like drops. Mm -hmm. Or like the baby is born, you know, whatever, whatever, and then they just break up. But So... It's like, I don't know, what do you have to say about that question? When you got, when you got two, but yeah, but see, here the problem is, like, when you got two households, so say if, uh, say if a man and woman have a baby, but then they separate, the father gonna have his rules in his house, and the mother gonna have rules in her house. So now you have a conflict, because... But I mean, you still are supposed to talk about how to raise a child before having the child. But they don't. So but they don't. If they break up, even if you break up, you some still do, but have those but majority, rates. yeah, but some do, but majority of them don't. Yeah. So a lot of times you have a conflict between the baby father and the baby mother. Is is yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's conflict with um with both of them. But, yeah, but most, I think I think it's important so that way. Um, first off, it's less headaches if y'all are both on the same page of how to raise a child right. or how y'all want to raise a child. Right. And then, um, on top of that, it, it's like, you can't raise a child two different ways or like on two different paths. That's going to be confusing but, to the child. No, but it's going to, no, but it's going to happen. It's going to be rebellious and I listen because <laughs> both y'all are not on the same page. Right. Right. Y'all just have to be on the same page. Y'all can't bring a child and then tell them how to be two separate, you know, like raising them two separate ways. Yeah. But, so, but it's going to happen because that, because when the like the like usually the mother has a child, so yeah. she has a child probably five days out the week, and then on the weekend, shorty go to um but, his father's house. A so lot of people these days they don't they don't talk about how they just get pregnant, bro. They're yeah, not talking like about they're not how talking. They want to raise their child. Yeah, yeah. Or they get pregnant and they go along with it as like life happens, like right. As right. they raise their child, is how they learning how to raise a child or figuring out how they want to raise a child right. instead of figuring it out before the child even gets into this world. Right, right. So, and usually, and usually that's yeah. not usually it it, it don't work out um, at, at at all. Like I was watching um this um short, and it was a um a, a baby mother mad at the father because the father took his his two sons to the barber shop. So she had a problem with that. She said, "She said, oh, yo, um, you didn't ask me to take him to the barbershop. So she was mad about it and then made a whole big fuss and then was trying to get the police involved. Because she was basically bitter because homeboy moved on with his life. And she just, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, you should be happy. But you should be like, but she should have been happy that the father took his sons to the barbershop that, that, that's bonding with your sons. She should have been happy about that. But see, but these are the things that happen between a man and a woman that's not together. You right. know what I'm saying? So um, she said, "Is that important as a foundation when you meet someone before even having sex?" 
is going to happen if people sleep around with someone before discussing important topics. Yeah. They're going to... Basically, like, they laying gonna, down with somebody before you even... But they not. Discuss. But they not gonna. They not going to. They not yeah. going to. They not going to discuss anything, because yeah. that's not their mission. Their mission is the is the is to beat the chicks, and then, and yeah. then that's it. But but no, when but people definitely should like. I mean, if you end up pregnant, you should discuss before. <laughs> even taking like the, the risk. The it's not threat. even real, but it's not even real. But yeah, but it's not even realistic. It's not. It's not realistic. They're not gonna. They're not yeah. discussing. They don't even know this person. Oh, he is doing that though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but are you gonna do that when you meet? Of course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I that, think I think it's extremely important. Not even like just all aspects. Not even just you know like how to raise kids. Right. But just right. Learning <laughs> who you're sleeping with, like bro. <laughs> yeah, they, please. Yeah, they, they, that's another topic like, for another time. Friends. That's another topic for another time. Like we ain't we ain't getting on like, the even, we ain't getting yeah, on the sex right. we ain't getting on the sex part. But um, moving on from that, what about the peer pressure of friends trying to influence like them to do yeah. yeah doing drugs or you know trying to join a gang? Um, like the parents definitely have to sit down and, and give them the game about the ins and outs. If you do drugs, this is gonna happen to your life. You're gonna ruin your life. You're gonna ruin your body. And like you really have to have conversations with them about that. And sometimes take them out, like take them out to to neighborhoods where they can see fiends, all laid out on the couch with the lean. Show them that. Do you want your life to be like this, or do you want to be successful? In your life. You know what I'm saying? I was raised, like, from you, you know, mom, even, like, my things, like, from my sister that I learned that I didn't want to do or be like. Right. And also, like, just the way I was raised, like I said, it helped me not be so easily influenced. Right. And not go down paths that I've, like, seen or heard people go down. Right. Oh, yeah. But, um... I actually, I want to show you something. I want, I'm gonna share my screen to you though. All right, so good. So you sure. can see on the Discord. Hold on, give me a second. But another thing I want to add, like, like before you show that, it's cool not to follow negativity. So yeah. when, when, uh, when a friend or somebody that you really don't know try to influence you to do wrong, but you choosing to do right, and then they try to clown you for it, mm-hmm. don't even trip. You know what I'm saying? Because you know better. Yeah. So, that. so, yeah, so when you know better, then you got to do better. So don't let nobody right. influence you. Don't let nobody make you feel bad because you don't want to do drugs. Don't let nobody make you feel bad because you want to save yourself, uh, uh, for marriage. Don't mm-hmm. don't let nobody make you uh feel less than because you don't want to join a gang and freaking terrorize your neighborhood. Don't don't let that peer pressure. Don't give in to it. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to be positive. So speak on that. Like speak on yeah. what I just said about about is this cool just to not fall in that whole cycle of negativity that that goes on worldwide, but especially in our communities. That- like the stuff that looks cool ain't normally cool. Like it's okay not to fit in and be cool like how everybody else's cool is. It's okay to have your own cool. I think I'm cool. And that's my decision. That's how (laughs) I think, even though I don't do what everybody else does. Like, I think that's that's another thing that kids should be taught. Like, you can make your own cool. You can be cool even if you're not doing what's cool at the moment. Like, at the end of the day, whatever is cool to you is cool to you. So you don't need to fall into what everybody else got going on right right that's what should be taught right and that's my whole thing with with mabu is that if he was such a great guy like the comments is saying then he would have taught him that you don't well he can't even teach him to begin with because he put himself in that hole as well so anyway we're not gonna talk about mabu i think no, but- kids should be taught 
to make their own cool and that not fitting in is cool at the end yeah, of the day. No, oh no, but not but not being not being another statistic exactly. in anything because a lot of people be statistics because they hard headed. They don't want to listen. They 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 think that they can beat like they think that they can beat this the flesh. I can beat it. Ain't nothing gonna happen to me. Yeah. Nah, the streets the streets is undefeated. Nobody beats the streets. Okay. Bottom line, nobody beats the streets. You gonna wind up bumping your head a couple of times, and sometimes some people learn from um, bad choices. It's not mistakes. So let's yeah. like let's kill that right there. A mistake yeah. is something that you do, and that you don't do no more. Choices is when you do something repeatedly all the time. So if I um, um, do drugs every day, then I'm choosing to do drugs every day. That's not a choice. Mm -hmm. or, or I mean, oh, no, that's a choice. That's not a mistake. You know what I'm saying? So let's kill that right there. Yeah. I mean, like people love to do that. Oh, we all make mistakes. No, we make bad choices. Choices get get everybody jammed up. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you can choose not to do something. Yeah. And and it's and it's nothing wrong with and it's nothing wrong with um standing firm on your square. That's not for me. I yeah. I want to have a long life. I wanna I wanna I wanna prosper in life. Meaning that I wanna just like live good without having to be a statistic in in the whole cycle thing that people have to go through all the time. It's a yeah. it, it's like a repeated cycle. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't beat the streets, but can't, can't, can't though. What you was about to show me? Um, basically, little little RT, which mm -hmm. is the, the little boy that just told my boo, he went on Kai's stream, mm -hmm. and I know I didn't know who he was. Right. But he was started cussing, and and talking crazy, right. and Kai was telling him to like stop and chill. Right. I can't really show the clip because it's thirty minutes and it's it's long. Right. Right. But. Um, I might have you react to it, but like even Kai was influencing him for so, the better. Right, 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 right. Which is my whole point of the Mabu reaction was that even Kai was telling him Kai bought him toys. He bought him mad toys, like little like actual toys. Right, right, right. And was telling him like what you be doing isn't cool, like I bought you toys. Right. And he was like getting mad, cussing him out and wow. all that, and like Kai was like Stop yeah. cussing and yeah. take and have play with the toys. Right, right. Like, yeah. So, but see, but that goes back to the parents. It goes back to the parents. What happened? What oh, they yeah. say? Um, now, mom wants me to wants me to speak about being comfortable in my own skin. All right, my but hold on. So before you say that, um, to me, Mambo is is a uh, he's a uh, he's an agent to me. Bottom line, yeah. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Um, he's an industry plant. Yeah, he's no. <laughs> we don't. We don't. It's, it's no reason for him to be out here doing the music he's doing. He mm -hmm. he 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 already is successful. He comes from a wealthy family. There's no reason for him to be trying to. I don't understand how why do suburb kids is so fascinated with. The hood life. I don't I, I, like. I just don't understand. We we trying to get out of that condition yeah. instead of going back to it. it. It's a freaking oxymoron. It makes no sense. Like the people that that you know live saying? in the hood and from the hood don't like. Yeah, like we not like, like we not glorifying. Yeah, like, bro. like yeah, like we not we like we not glorifying bro. that. I seen dudes get, you know what I'm saying, get robbed. I seen people get shot. I seen people, dudes laid out. At the end of the day, nobody nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to glorify that. So you know what I'm saying. So to me, he's a plant, and he's a culture vulture. This is what they do. And he's not. He's you know not saying? the only one either. No, nah, he's not. And y'all, let me tell you something. Y'all people that be idolizing these 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 so-called celebrities, y'all idol worshippers. Y'all, I mean, like y'all willing to disrespect me or my daughter because we telling. A nine-year-old, he shouldn't be cursing. I'm telling the rich, a rich dude that comes from Park Avenue in New York that he already got money to stop trying to do all these diss songs and, and talk about the ops and all that. I'm telling him to stop. Well, that. That's positive. He's 18 years old, even for him. Exactly. He, and he's been doing this for a little while. Like, he was 16, 17. Like, it doesn't matter. Either way. So, y'all people... 
Like stop I, Like y'all disrespect people That's trying to Talk positive things man So Y'all dumb down man Y'all people that love this stuff Y'all dumb down You know what I'm saying Y'all the ones Y'all the reason why Anybody that support A nine year old cursing Or a, 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 um, a rapper like Mambu Coming to the hood Doing all this Crazy clown buffoonery stuff Y'all the reason why The hood is the way it is Cause y'all supporting this crap You feel what I'm saying So y'all the reason you know what I'm saying? You got it. Anyway, yeah, what you was going to say? Um, so, with being comfortable in my skin. Um, so, basically, I've learned, like, as I've gotten older to be more and more comfortable with, like, my beliefs and what I think, which is even why I talk the way I talk, which I might sound like pops sometimes. But that's just how I was raised and has, like, became my own beliefs and decisions in my life. Um, I've even, like, been told that I was crazy from my family and I have, like, I don't, I barely have friends. Like, I have a very small group of people that I talk to. Mm -hmm. And that's just how it is. I'm comfortable with it. I don't see a problem with it. That's like, y'all don't see a problem when y'all think it's fine for my boo and RT to be doing whatever. You feel me? I'm the same that way, but for my own decisions mm -hmm. in life. Right. So, just like everybody else can be proud and they can live their truth and da 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 and y'all right and <laughs> wrong and whatever. Right. Right. That's how exactly how I am, too. Right. Like, but right. for my own in right. and beliefs and I'm right. just comfortable in that, bro. Yeah, well, That's you know, people be um people people hate the um people hate the for people to knock their lifestyle, but they are not your lifestyle because you don't want to be like you don't want to be out here getting rammed by different people by different no, dudes. Every week, every no, I, I'm the same, but I mean, I mean, but why do but but why but what but. but at the end of the day, why is it anybody's business that you saving yourself for marriage? Like, like, what's wrong with that? Yeah, but not just that, pops. You know what I'm saying? saying? Because I mean, a lot of people don't know that, but um, like, just uh, this a uh, different aspects that I do differently. Right. And, like people would just be like, "Oh, why don't you have a lot of friends?" Like you're weird. Exactly. No, like I just don't have friends. <laughs> like. Exactly. It's, it's so many, or just like even it can be the way that you eat, and people be like, "Why do you, why do you eat those things?" And right, it's like, right, and right. I like, want to. Exactly, like, exactly, exactly. If yeah. I'm comfortable in it, just like you're comfortable in your lifestyle, I don't talk on people's lifestyle unless I, I'm reacting and I'm saying that you're wrong, which is my reaction. But I mean, but but everybody knows talking about ops, talking about drug use. Talking about shooting somebody, talking about spinning the block, it's negative. You yeah, can't as get a, as long as like you can't get around it. Huh? You should be comfortable. Exactly, man. Skin. It's 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 that's it's, all we're saying. It's negative. They know it's negative. Um, the the inner cities ain't gonna never change until we stop promoting negativity, like like negative music and negative behavior. It has to stop. Period. Right. It has to stop. Otherwise, it, it's just going to repeat, keep doing the same thing over and over, over and over. Ain't nothing going to change. You know what I'm saying? So, my thing is this. If you want a safe community, then you need to be calling the police on the drug dealers. You need to be calling the police on the gang members that's out here shooting and then innocent people is getting hit by stray bullets and all that. You need to work with the police. What other options you got? You know what I'm saying? All this snitching stuff. I'm a civilian. I don't. I don't. I don't care about none of that. I'm a civilian now. I'm out in the streets. So if you do something to me, I'm calling the boys. You did <laughs> straight like that. You know what I'm saying? Because other like what other options you got? Half of the time, people that be sitting there, I'm talking about the police, that, but they don't have no um. They don't have no um. Uh, like no type of plan. No type of uh, like like anything that's gonna like stop the the uh, freaking genocide in our neighborhoods, straight up and down. We kill each other more than the police do. You feel what I'm saying? But that's another story. For, I mean, um, I ain't gonna talk about that right now. But yeah, yeah. But back to back to parenting. 
I feel like our comment section um, on certain videos, which first off, um, nobody told us, told them that they had to watch us. First off, Facts. they click on the videos that they want to see, which is Mabu, <laughs> um, whatever Facts. drill music that we do for me. Facts. Whatever. Facts. Nobody told you to click on it, but you want to click on it because that's what you like to see. Yeah. Facts. And the conversation is full of little kids, just like RT, who are bad and are raised like RT raised mm -hmm. and agree with Mabu's movement. Right. At the end of the day. Right. And there's a lot of kids. RT is not the only kid, and I'm not even blaming RT either because he's a child. At the end of the day. Yeah, blame the. That I, that's why I say blame the parents in the in the in the, in the, in the how they grow up, yeah. they grow up with and how yeah. Cause trust me, trust this. If it if stuff hits the fan, Mambu got money for a lawyer. He got a private jet on standby to leave the country if he got to get out of here. He's straight. He's good. But Shorty, Shorty got to live in that environment. This is why we can't let infiltrators come in. It's not about uh, Mambu's skin color. It's about um, we keep letting these infiltrators in. That's not... What's called industry plants. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Plants. Like, yeah. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, it's white or black because there's black industry plants as well. Exactly. So. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. at the end of the day, you know, it's it's not... um, um Like, not as... In my eyes, this is not good. You know what I mean? So it's, it's not okay, regardless. Um, when I was raised, um, when like when I was coming up, we had respect for our elders. We didn't curse around them. Um, when they told us yeah. to stop doing something, we stopped doing it. Like today, you can't even tell somebody else's kid to stop like behaving in a bad way. Their parents are getting on you. Oh, like, don't be talking to my my son and my daughter like that. But Miss like Miss Johnson is looking out for your son. Like she's looking out for your daughter. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, like even with those aspects, parents don't want you even saying nothing to their children. But your children. Do you think Do you think that's right or wrong though in certain situations? Because certain situations, I feel like you should have to my kid. Nah. I think yeah, I if, like if they doing something, no. But if they doing something like say if they say if they uh uh like doing bottles or something like that, that's not cool. So if somebody's saying yo stop doing them bottles, and they say yo f you like like don't tell me what to do like yeah, no, like no. somebody young that's not cool. Like they don't yeah. want you messing like they don't like listen they don't want you messing up their neighborhood with glasses all over the place. You know, like something small like that. Or them outside, 2, 3 in the morning, making all this noise, playing music, and, and everybody trying to get to sleep tomorrow to work the next day. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just rude. So somebody come outside, yo, yo can y'all please turn the music down? I'm trying to get some sleep. F you, nigga. I ain't, nah, nigga. I ain't turning nothing down. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. It's like, it's there's no respect today. And then when you, um... When you say something to them, they um, parents like now want to fight you now. Yeah. Instead of telling them, yo, yo, listen, listen to Mr. Johnson. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like respect this man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they don't do that. It's a total opposite today. But I, I really, I really have realized that like, I, I don't know if it's just because I'm a woman or what. But even the moms are not the same. Like, the moms are not yeah. mothers anymore. Yeah, like, yeah. it was one thing for the dad. Like, I, like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, but like, even mother, that. Yeah. You came out of me. And so I'm going to raise you. But, yeah. like, nowadays, the moms just be, like, they be all over the place. Yeah. They be everywhere. Right. So this is, like, really, like, a big shift with, like, just the whole society as a whole. Like, just everybody. Right. Because right. you can't even depend on, like, even your grandmother. If you're, like, your grandmother nowadays, <laughs> she even gets influenced by the, the moms and the young, like, right, right, right. your grandmother's not even your grandmother, like, how right. you think your grandmother is, Pop. Right, yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, 
Bro. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I've seen some crazy stuff on social media with older people and yeah. mothers and all that. Like, yeah. it's just not the same anymore. So, so is, so my thing is, are they doomed or can they be saved? <laughs> nah. Um. You know what I'm saying? I, I, to me, to me, I don't think, I don't think, I don't, I think some people can, but, but I think majority of the people, they don't care. You know what I mean? They don't, they don't want to, like, they don't want to raise their children, right? And, um, like, because you, you can't sit here and say that, oh, we got to stop the toxic behavior in our neighborhood, but then you still supporting the toxic behavior with, uh, through music or certain videos that come online, like, like TikToks, all these shorts. It's just it's just bad behavior. Like, like world stars, probably one of the, like the most. Let me tell you right now. World star proves to me every day that this world is crazy, bro. Every day you see the most toxic behavior, bro. And and, and but but I'm talking about everybody. I'm not just talking about black people. I'm talking about everybody. Toxic behavior worldwide. The most craziest stuff. Go on world star. You see people getting in fights in public places. Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, uh, robbing people, uh, 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 beating up old ladies, taking a pocketbook, um, freaking, uh, uh, damn children trying to get, I mean, uh, like, um, young children getting snatched up off the streets by freaking, uh, freaking human trafficking, all, all type of stuff. This world is crazy. This world is crazy. So, I, I don't have no hope, really, only in, in a few, a few people, a small hand of, probably a small hand of, like a small hand, like in the community that's positive. Everybody else is just is just down with that toxic behavior. Like, uh, I only see it get worse. Sadly, the most popular thing. What people do? The most popular thing. I don't care. On, I don't care on any any video. As soon as somebody get into a fight, everybody pull out their phone. World star or yo, yo, this is crazy. They don't even say yo break this up. This ain't cool. We got to stop doing this to each other. Mm -hmm. No, it's just straight pull out phone. Oh, this is great, yo. All that. You know what I'm saying? That's the number right. one thing. So. Right. Um, Aaron said people need to do better. They do. Uh, but is it going to happen? No, nah, it's not. Mm. It's not. It's not. Yeah. It's not. It's, ain't nothing going to change. The hood. The hood's going to be. See, I'm from the hood, so I'm talking about the hood. I'm not talking about other neighborhoods and, and all that. I'm from the I'm from Brownsville, Brooklyn. I seen the most vicious things in the hood, bro. Vicious. And we love to use oh, we in poverty, um, my environment. But in the same environment, you have positive people that live there, and you got negative people that live there. So you got people that go to work every day. Are y'all young people go to school? They come home, they go straight in the house. They ain't running the streets. They not doing drugs. They not selling drugs. They not into no gangs. They straight in the house, minding their business, law-abiding citizens. So, how come you got those people that live in it in the same neighborhood, live in the same building, but then you got other ones that's knuckleheads? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 what is it? Your environment, or is it the choices that we making? I would say the choices that we I mean, making. Just like some parents are actively raising their kids, and some parents are deadbeats. Exactly. That's a choice. That's a choice. So there's all different type of parents so, in this world. So stop using that my environment and all that. We don't got no money because I see a lot of dudes in, in Brownsville. When I was living in Brownsville, uh, cars is pumped. You got Benzes. You got dudes rolling around with. Two, three hundred, four hundred dollar pair of sneakers on their feet. Chicks rocking Louis Vuitton and, and, and Versace and got the shades on, all that. Got iPhones that cost a thousand dollars. But but you living in poverty though. Nah, I think I think it's I think it's the people's priorities ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Why we can't get ahead is because we over here spending money on things. Anyway, 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 man. Anyway. You know. Bob's has so much to talk about. It's crazy, bro. Lives, which is why I'm excited for him to start up again. It's crazy, bro. But if if you are a man, 
and and if you're a woman laying down with somebody and you having sex with somebody, and you have a child, if you don't want your child to be a statistic and get caught up into the traps and snares of this world, then it's your duty to raise your children properly. And you need to sit down, the man need to sit down with the woman, the woman need to sit down with the man, and y'all need to discuss and and like like uh, come up with some solutions on how we need to raise our children so that so they won't get caught up in the traps in our communities. Okay. You have to do that. You but have to be thing, you have uh, to be proactive with your children. Right. You, you I mean you have to be hands on. You feel me? Right. And there's so many layers to to go by. And like I could be here all day and all day, but at the end of the day, parents need to learn that. You know what I'm saying? And everything starts from home. Everything. Everything. So why little man is doing what he's doing is because he got bad parenting. Mm -hmm. Bottom line. But I also think, um, I believe in, like, the other people that's around your child. Have you ever heard of the saying, like, um, like, it takes a village? Yeah, to raise children. Right. But we don't have villages. But we don't have villages no more. But we don't have villages no more. So, okay, so some some more villages. Nah, no it ain't. No it ain't. Just like no, 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 just like you, right? You you were raised with like But, you but see, yes, you but had, yeah, but that era but that era I'm from people, you know? Nah, but that era I'm from is dead though. Is is that era doesn't exist anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm it, saying it, there's there's some there's people around your child that can influence them. In a positive way, like the parent. Ah, I don't. I don't. It depends. It depends on the household. Yeah, it depends on the household. Kids have another influence right. that aren't their parents. Right. So well. It depends on the household, but not yeah. a lot though. Not a lot though. But I think I think that also is like another thing, which um was the point that I why I brought up Kai, because Kai was influencing him in a positive way by saying here's a toy play with it and stop cursing right yeah but he but he didn't care about the toy he still cursed at him and disrespected I mean, him. Now, I mean now it's too far like our no it's not he's nine he's years dead. old no no he's nine years old no, no it's not. Saying, like, he ain't too he far going yet nah yeah, but, but he can't think he can't, like Kai can't do it for a day and then expect him to change oh yeah but like, he's gonna get cussed out a couple times right before he actually stops cussing right right you know right, what I'm saying right Right, but like, yeah, it ain't never too late. It ain't never too late for children to um, uh, be reformed in their mind. It ain't never yeah. too late. It ain't. I mean, he's nine years old. He's not. He's not. He's not like a teen. He's not eighteen, nineteen, twenty years yeah. old. He's nine years old, and yeah. um, that that like uh, anybody that support a nine year old cursing, using foul language, and and talking about. This, that, and the third. Then you really not a good person. I, I don't. I'm not hey, gonna. Shoo in the chat box. Huh? What's for showing? Shoo, what up? What's good with you, bro? You know what I mean? So, nah. Yeah. I don't. I just. I just wish that we could do better. And um, it starts. It starts at home, bro. Like everything. Yeah. So, like, um, you ever seen his parents before? Shorty? Uh, nah. So, so. I mean, I don't really know too much about. So who's in? Ch- so, 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 so who was with him on Kai's stream? Who was with him? Nah, he's by himself. Nah, somebody, somebody yeah, behind the scenes. Uh, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody like, behind the scenes. Like on stream, it was just. It was he just him. Came downstairs and he was by himself. Wow. But he has a mom. He has a mom. That's that's what that's what I know. Wow. But I've never seen her. But I don't know too much about RT. I just know that he's a mad little boy, <laughs> and he needs some parents. So, so was a <laughs> good parents. So was a lot of other young children in this world. They bad, you know. They, he ain't the only one. He said yeah, this. I don't, I don't blame the kids at all, though. Yeah, I don't. Like at the end of the day, they're children, bro. Blame the parents. Blame but I also parents. think like people. Yeah, we talk about Lil Mabu and, and RT, and we just we just talk about like children in general, like just. It's like the whole conversation of like raising your kids. 
But, um, what was I going to say? I think people that watch us, I don't know. They just, they don't get that, like, you're from the hood and you're a black man at the end of the day. And mm -hmm. you understand their side of what they're saying and you've lived in their side of what they're saying and you're now out of it trying to be positive and influence positivity for the people who watch us. Well, it's 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 called the victim mentality all the time. They they wanna blame the system, they wanna blame white people. It's the it's the it's the mentality. It's like it's like this. Here's a here's an analogy, right? If I have a house, like an apartment, and it's dirty, it's filthy, it's roaches, I got mice, I got dishes all over the place, my children is out of control, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really being a father, they just out, outside running the streets doing God knows what, I have no idea what they're doing, me and my baby mom's always arguing, always fighting in front of them, it's it, like we so dysfunctional, it's ridiculous. How dare me now go outside and not other people, but my house is horrible. You know what I'm saying? I'm out working. I'm living off the system. I'm just toe up from the flow up. I'm toe up. How dare me now want to go out and blame other, blame my environment or blame the system or blame some, some people that uh, skin is, 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 uh, is, is paler than mine. How dare me? So I say that to like like I say that to say this. We have to clean ourselves up first. Once we do that, then we can now point the finger at them. But we have to clean ourselves up. This the system ain't gonna do that. The government ain't gonna clean you up. The white man ain't gonna clean you up. You gotta clean yourself up. You gotta want to be different. You gotta want to be better. You have to want that. So, how dare we go out and blame everything on everybody? But look at us. We dysfunctional. We got all these, we got all these leaders that came before us. All the prophets. We had Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Harriet Tubman. We had we had all these people that brought information. We got a bunch of got thousands and thousands of books on, on how we can be better, but we but we choose not to take these books. Take what these people were saying so we could so we could be better. So who's to blame? The system? The white man? No, we to blame. At the end of the day. You got two gang figure two gangs that come together and say, well, I'm not squashing no beef. This is gonna go on and go on. We're gonna keep killing each other and killing each other. It ain't gonna never stop. But then you want the government to help? Right. Like you want them to come in now and help you? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Like I don't like I don't need a plan. I don't need a plan to change the way I am. Like behavior doesn't take but effort to do. You know what I'm saying? Like we like like um like they say that we need 40 acres in the mule, we need reparations. That's not they can give us all the money right now. Guess what? If we still have this type of mentality, all that money will be gone. All that resources will be gone because we have not changed inside. So inside has to change. You can give somebody a billion dollars, but if, but if they didn't change inside yet, that billion dollars will be gone just like that. Just like that. So nobody want to hear that. It's a cop out. Um, we need positive in this world, not negative. I feel like people need to do better. And if people can't handle a negative, people need help. People got to be careful of decision making. No, some, but some change, but, but, but majority rules. So the majority of people don't want to change. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They don't want to change. Like, like a prime example. And, and I always say that all the time, like Aaliyah could tell you. Fornication, right? Um, a lot of diseases can be prevented if people stop fornication. A lot of unnecessary pregnancies un or unwanted pregnancies can stop being uh, can stop being prevented if people 
with practice abstinence until you really to settle down with somebody and really be with this person. It can stop a lot. It's all about decisions. But it, but it's all about decisions. People don't care. They want to do what they want to do. But then but then you want to complain when you got to go to court <laughs> with your baby moms because you didn't have no self control. You didn't have no discipline. Dad, something so simple. I was live. I was live earlier, and I I don't know what the conversation. Anyway, we were saying how Chris Sean was an athlete. Like before, right, right, right. And right. then Blueface was a quarterback, right. Before and right, and right. they were nice at right. like being athletic, right, 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 right. And I we were talking about how like they decided now look at them basically, right, right. Like right, instead right. of right. going on the path, right, he could have been in the NFL, right. Blueface choose to be right. a rapper right. Right. instead of a quarterback, like. Right. It's decisions like that. Decisions. Something simple as that. Right. Decisions. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? So it is it's not it's not just um he said what do you say? He said Robbie outside with, with back. He said oh, BRB, he's outside with back. He's so back. It's decisions. It's not the environment, it's not the system, it's decisions. Nobody mm -hmm. can't make you be negative. You being negative on your own. Now, I'm not saying that some some people don't need help. You know, um, some people don't need to be guided. But a lot of times, people don't want to be guided. They want to do what they want to do. Some people yeah. don't care about um, anything that has to do with being positive. I, I, yeah. This is me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm this. I'm that. This is me. Some people don't care. So, like, you can't force somebody to... Um, Change. Aaron said, um, "Your people don't care." It's sad. Yeah, like Blueface could have been, Blueface could have been in the NFL quarterback, and she could have, she like a uh, Krishan could have been um freaking running track with uh with um freaking uh freaking Shakuri uh, uh freaking Jack. Like <laughs> she could have been out there, yeah. me, you know what I'm saying? Like running track, you know what I'm saying? On like the freaking Olympic team and all that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But look at them. Choices. So you rather be a huh? social media influencer and choose toxicity over like she could have been like the top athlete, bruh. Right, exactly. So yeah, that ain't that ain't the white man's fault. That, that's that's not the system fault. That's her fault. That's his fault. Oh like, yeah, somebody said, "Hey guys, my name is Darius. I'm a huge fan of your channel." And he asked, "How how are we doing?" I'm chilling, man. We chilling. Yo, I'm here. I'm here full time now. I'm bringing. I, every, I'm. I'm trying to bring in content. I'm coming. Much love, Darius. Much love. You think what I'm saying? I'm coming. He said. Uh, Tay, Tay said, we don't need no more rappers. <laughs> we don't. We don't. They ain't saying nothing positive. You know what I mean? So like, we don't need no more. You know what I mean? Like, we don't need no more rappers. It's it's a rap for that. It's a rap for that. Hip hop music is. Huh? I said we don't need no more bad parents either. No. Nah. Don't raise their kids. No. Nah. Nah, it's over. It's over. Like at this point, just stop having kids, bro. Please. Ain't like, not gonna stop having slow kids. Down, bro. See, let me tell you something. See, I live in the real world, okay? Um, <laughs> people ain't gonna stop doing nothing. They're gonna continue to keep doing what they've been doing. You know what I'm saying? So don't cry. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to be told positive things, then don't cry when you get jammed up in something that you was told or you was warned about. Mm -hmm. Don't cry. So, yeah. if you go to jail, don't be mad. Pop that bottle and say, I made it to the big house. If you wind up in the cemetery, six feet deep, that's the life that you wanted. You didn't listen. You was hard-headed. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't like the people that want to do what they want to do, but then they want to complain about the damn results after the fact. Now, you can't complain. Just deal with it. This is your punishment, and now you got to, now you got to live with it. It is what it is. You dig what I'm saying? You want to be out there, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Banging chicks out or having sex with a bunch of, a bunch of dudes, and you mess around and get, you know what I mean, if you can get an STD, that's what? That's your fault. <laughs> That's your fault. Because you ain't listen. It is what it is. 
Everything, everything has a reaction. Everything. I don't care what it is. So, yeah. don't complain about it. Okay. Okay. Straight up. Well, Pops, Pops definitely gonna react to the first piece song. I'm gonna react to it, uh, I, but uh, I ain't gonna be surprised what he gonna say. Is because it's gonna be the you know what I mean the, the whole typical situation. I ain't gonna yeah. be surprised. But see, they don't want to hear from me. They want to hear somebody sit here and say, "Oh." Like, look at Shorty. He doing this thing. Oh, he's rapping. Like, but no. Not nine years old saying that. I could, yeah. like, like, to like. Go, I want to see the other reaction channel's reaction. To him. To, reaction. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I want to yeah, go yeah. through their comments. If they had a positive reaction or a negative, like, I want to see and go through their comments. Yeah, but you already know. You already know. Like, they, you already know. You already I just know. want to know what the other reaction said. You already know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get the mind no shine on on him. They gonna. just be wilding. Yeah. They be wilding on on us. Like I don't know. Know why? These people, but. You know why they wilding on us? Cause we telling the truth, and they don't want to hear the truth. You know what I'm um, saying? Somebody said you guys are real encouraging to me. I want to become a boxer. I don't want to inspire positively like you guys do. It's a shame not that many people want to. They don't. Aww. The they say he wants to be a boxer. Um, um, I wanted to be a boxer when I was young, but I got caught up in the 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 inner cities. You dig what I'm saying? Doing being negative. But if you want to box, box. Stay in the gym. You know what I'm saying? Stay in the gym. Be a gym rat. Um, yeah. don't let nobody discourage you. You know what I'm saying? And um, but but work on your craft. Learn how to jump rope good. Learn how to uh like hit the bags. Excellent. Do everything excellent. And and what you put in, you are gonna get out. Know what I'm saying? It's not yo nothing is wrong with being positive. Positive yeah. is a great thing. Negative. Everybody, then they everybody on this earth is negative. Yeah. Some somehow, some way they negative. And when you doing something positive, don't let nobody tick you off your path. Mm -hmm. Now know what I'm saying? Like you ain't gonna be no boxer. Tell them yes, I am gonna be a boxer. <laughs> yeah. I'm in that gym hey, every day. Yeah, like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now yo, yo. Like, come on the block, son. You're like, yo, come on now, nah, I'm going to the gym. If you stay in the gym, you gonna get results. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going to be dipping and dabbing, because um, boxing is a sport where you can't dip and dab. You got to be all into it. Straight up. You got to be all into it. I mean, you got to be all into anything that you do. Exactly. So. Exactly. She, she hit it right on the nail. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do. Pa, he said, right, said possibly, possibly in his back. He says negativity is going to fire now. Yeah, shooting, yeah. It's the... It, it's the hey, ask, hey, ask, do so, you still hit your back? Nah, not like I used to. Nah. Nah. But yeah, negativity is oh, he's from Newark, Newark, New Jersey. I can, I can never say that without saying. Shout out to the bricks, man. Yeah. Shout out to the brick, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just yeah. You know, shout out to the bricks. No doubt. Yeah, shout out to Jersey, man. Most, most definitely. But yeah, stay positive. Positive, positive is the is the the best option. Stay away from negative people that try to freaking discourage you on whatever you're trying to do. Stay away from them. Because they ain't no good for you. You know what I'm saying? Because they mad because they can't focus and do something positive for themselves. So what they want to do is discourage you so you can be right right with their ass. On the block, <laughs> doing nothing. Nah, I'm going to the gym. I, <laughs> I'm out of here. And, and another thing, stop being around people that's doing negative things because you can get yourself caught up. You know what I mean? Go to school, go to work, and then go to the gym. Come home, go right, go right to sleep, and do it, do it every day. Stay away from negative people. Do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I guarantee you, you come back five to ten years, they might, they might be at the same spot, or they might be dead or in jail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the cycle. Let's make sure you ain't part of that cycle. <laughs> Straight up, speaking reaction, I'll be. Interested to see what you have to say about joining his new song. Yeah, we need to react to joining. Well, he made a new song already. Yeah, 
and he got a song in the video. Okay. We're going to check it out. Drops, uh, he's going to drop in two days. Yeah, see, see, me and me and Leah, see, me and me and Leah, are different reactors. I don't care who you are. If I like you, but if the song is trash, I'm gonna say it's trash. Whoa, 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 What? So what? You, wait, <laughs> what? Wait. You what? think? Why you say we different? Because a lot of, a lot of reaction channels, they want the views, so they they. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. No, I thought you were saying me and you are different. No, no, I said no. I said we, me and you are different than other reaction channels. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, I was saying that because yeah. they want the views, so they're going to like, regardless if they know the song wasn't that good or not, they're going to like it because they want the views. They want that, they want that algorithm, you know what I mean? They want that, yeah, they want that paper. Junior, uh, I heard that Junior's about to be a deep song, so I think we're going to, we're going to like it. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, man. Being positive... I mean, negative is a is a is a it's a horrible life, being negative, all the time. Negativity, you know what I mean? Doing drugs is negative. Shooting people is negative. Uh, selling drugs is negative. Always into drama, is negative. Always trying to start start with somebody. You negative. You like to me anybody that do those things they evil to me. I, I don't care if this is a million ways we can eat. So, all that, oh, I, you know, I had to sell drugs because I was, because, because I ain't had no way to live or, or I ain't had no food. I'm not trying to hear that. You can make, there's a million ways you can make money. Why you got foreigners that come over here, them dudes be selling waters. They be, they be freaking washing cars. It's, it's so much you could do to make a dollar. So doing anything. They be selling like, for us. They be, they be selling Yeah, like uh, like to go get a like everybody wanna go and get a pack. Right. Like to go get a pack or to go rob somebody or something like that. Come on, bro. Like you know what's gonna happen. You rob the wrong person, they come back and blow your head off. Mm -hmm. You know or you get caught to go to jail. Then now what? Now you got three hots in the cot. <laughs> you feel me? He says literally anything. He says if uh, if anybody knows how to the hustle, yeah, they, yeah, it's it's so, so many hustles you could do without doing something negative. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, man. Yeah. Think about it. I just think people have to want it for them to do it. Yeah. Which a lot of people don't want. Yeah. Positivity and like you know. Yeah. And and like and the same place they've been in. And females. Let's talk about that for a second. Females are the most precious thing. Women. Young girls. Young women. Uh -huh. Um. Anytime you see me react to like Cardi B or something like that, I don't like it because <clears throat> she's 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 wearing provocative clothes. I'm not I'm not saying it because I'm 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 judging her. Because I'm not God. I can't judge nobody. But women over women always over sexualize everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of creeps in this world. We have a lot of men that's not stable up here. So they will yeah, disrespect yeah. you. But you but you but you want a man to respect you wearing those things. He well most women say, well he, well, he should respect me anyway, regardless of what I'm wearing. At the end of the day, that's not reality. You know what I'm saying? So protect yourself by by just covering up. You know what I mean? Like you don't gotta show no cleavage. You don't have to show the chicks to 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 get a uh, to, to be attracted to. I mean, to, to have men be attracted to you. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to. I mean, like 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 imagine this. If I have, if I'm a young young dude. And I have a girlfriend that's wearing provocative clothing. She got tights on or she got poo poo shorts or whatever on, right? And I'm walking down the block with her, but then you got some disrespectful ninjas. She's going to put me now in a conflict with some dudes because they disrespecting my woman. You feel what I'm saying? So if I don't do nothing to them, <laughs> then they're going to disrespect me even more. And then she's looking at me like, yo, why you ain't saying nothing? 
But because you, you have on what you have, it's going to cause a conflict. So either I'm going to get killed or I'm going to kill somebody. Right. So that's why dressing like that is not positive because it's going to cause problems at the end of the day. I don't care. I don't care. You at the gym, you in the mall, somebody going to be like, yo, damn, you got a fatty mind. Like disrespect. And I'm like, I was supposed to say that and let him say that to you? So logically, that's cover up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Honestly, is that, put someone some. said, is that saying a lot of war wars start over a woman? They do. <laughs> they do. So it's not that men is trying to control women, but it just causes too much conflict. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if you covered up yourself, then you fine. But go yeah, ahead, don't. Don't cover up. And when your boyfriend got to get into a mad altercations with people, then it is what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Facts, pops. I can't tell you how many times I got into it with uh, my ex. Uh, <laughs> yeah, about the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, man. They don't understand that. If I don't say nothing to the guy, then he 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 basically punking me. So now you put me. So now you put me in the position to where I got to put hands on him or shoot the dude. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I don't, I, I don't want to be in that. So, mm -hmm. so when men be trying to tell yo, nah, that's that's too crazy. You like you, nah, you ain't going outside with me with that on, nah, nah. Like, like don't tell me what to do. You ain't my father. I'm not. I'm trying to keep us safe. I'm trying to make it home tonight. You, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Yeah. I'm trying to make it home because if a dude would disrespect me like that, that means that he, he ready to either a uh, uh, fight. Oh, he ready to shoot me. It's as simple as that. You know what I mean? So it's not about we trying to control nobody. We just trying to, I'm trying to make your home safe tonight. I'm trying to make sure we don't get hurt. That's nice, you know what I'm saying? So I respect women that cover themselves up. You know what I'm saying? I respect women that don't, but I won't, I won't disrespect a woman that's, that's wearing provocative things, but everybody ain't me. No, there's definitely women like <laughs> no. Everybody ain't me. That's a whole other. I ain't gonna. That's a whole other episode. Bro. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, yeah bro. Cause like, I can go on and on, bro. But everybody ain't me though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't gonna be like, like some dudes gonna be like, oh These man. These girls out here be crazy. Yeah, like, it's, it's 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 ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Back in the days, you can make a distinction between a prostitute selling her selling her body on the streets because. They wore provocative clothes, prostitutes back in the days. The the uh, fishnet stockings, they they had yeah. their butt all out. You could, but now the whole dress code situation now is you got a, a a female that's not selling her body, but she dressing like the prostitutes that sell a body. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So now you can't really well, decipher okay. who's who no more. They all look the same, bro. Yeah. So back in the day, you know who was who. Because you went on the strips and you seen the prostitutes out there selling their bodies. Okay, yeah, that's them. And this is us. But now you can't <laughs> you can't decipher no more. Who's who? Oh my God, let me see if I can find that picture. Hold on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. He said I'm exactly. Trying to find... He said they be wilding. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. It's crazy. So I don't, you know, we gotta teach. You know, teach our young women that um, you don't have to, you know, be showing your skin to get to get a man. You know what I mean? Like you can use this. I mean, use your brain. You dig what I'm saying? I'm not saying dress up like I'm not saying dress up like a dude. I'm just saying it. But you can wear sexy things, but you can be covered up though. You know what I'm saying? Right. This is fact. You know, it's messed up when you call them. You can't tell. Yeah, like you can't tell the difference. And then they get mad when when uh, guys want to disrespect them. Like I'm not, yo, I I thought you was that. <laughs> well, well, what makes you? Yeah. I'm trying to find that. What's up, Lee? How, uh, how you doing? Give me a second. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, so that's the thing about it. You can't. You know what I mean? Like today, you can't decipher who's who, who's who no more. You know, and 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 that's the difference. So all I ask you. If you want to be safe, young women, teenager females, 
please cover yourself. No judgmental. Okay. I'm not judging you. I'm just trying to keep y'all safe. I'm trying to make sure that y'all make it home tonight and y'all and y'all cool. You dig what I'm saying? I mean, something can happen to you, but God's if you cover up or not, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Because okay. I mean, guys out here will disrespect you straight up. They don't care. They call you all type of names and, and all that. You know? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. So what else? What else we got? I'm gonna find these maternity pictures. Okay, okay, I found it. I found it. Put it in the cord. He said. <laughs> Tay said, "Don't." <laughs> Yo, oh, that's the Monte right there. Yeah. The Monte. What up, bro? I I, I know that was him. Monte hey, been down for a minute. Free. Shout out to the um the Monte man. What's good with you? Salute. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> yeah, I'm back though, full effect. You know what I mean? Full fledged. Every day, I'm gonna be on here, talking about everything, everything. Hurry up! I'm on here. The first day, you know, the uh, views are gonna pick up. You know, it's gonna pick up. Can you can you go to like the? Do you see the general text chat? Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Wait, can they see it? Okay, now click, click on the picture. Uh. Now what's what's wrong with that? Oh, you can't see uh, it. Too uh, cool. uh, hold on, let me blow it up. Let me see if I can blow it up. No, you can't. No, I can't blow it up. Uh. Hold on, I'm gonna share my screen to you. I'm gonna make it bigger. Yo, oh, how I get out of here? Let me see. Um, click the general. Click the general, like. Oh, I got it. I got the it. The other general. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, but yeah, but I seen the picture though. I seen it. So okay, no, 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 no. All right, look, look. look. All right. Can you see my my screen? Nah, it says view view it. It says yeah, watch. Click on, yeah, click on it. Click on, let me see. Wow. wow. Okay. Wow. You, what's wrong? What's wrong with this picture? Wow. What's wrong with that that's is not, that's not that's not Kim K. Nah, what's wrong with that is that's too revealing. What what that's is she? Ball, that's one of the Ball brothers, uh, Bay Mama. Wow. No, people, people, it's mainly, it's mainly this picture with the black that she wore, wore this. It's like, it was like her baby photo shoot. Right. Like the son, like the newborn was the, like, the photo shoot. <laughs> but she was wow. wearing that. Wow. So she was getting mad because, like, people was like, what, why are you wearing that? And she was like saying, you're judging me, da, 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 I'm going to wear whatever oh. I want. Like, listen. And she was like, my baby daddy don't care. He like what I wear. Listen. Yeah. Let's get this like like let's get this like let's get this judgmental statement like in the bag right now, right? Everybody in this world make judgments. Okay? Everybody. You judge what you're going to eat tomorrow. You judge how you're going to live your life. You judge how much like, like you judge how much gas you're going to put in your car or what type of gas you're going to put in your car. You judge on on what type of women you like. Everybody makes judgments, okay? So, but but that's the go-to thing for everybody. Don't judge me. I'm not God. I can't put you in heaven or in hell. But certain behavior, if if nobody can tell you how to live, then we would have freaking anarchy and chaos in this world. So, yeah. you got right and wrong. Certain things, certain behavior is just not tolerable, like in this world to have. So all this, you you judging me? Come on, like you somebody's moms now. Cover the freak up, bro. Why you gotta reveal that for? Why? That's your man right there. So now you off the market. Why you gotta dress like that? Yeah, it's crazy. That, that, like that's just what I thought of when we were talking about the yeah. women. Yeah. Yeah. Because like. He's a mom having a baby photo shoot. Alright, how you click this off? How you click this? Off? I don't want to see her no more. I um, I click it. Okay, I can click that for you. Now close, just close stream. What? What you, you mean? Be able to click on it. Close it. Alright, let's see it. Alright, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on, what's this? Alright, so yeah, so it's not. I mean, like people always, people always use that because they want to live how they want to live. Don't judge me. I'm not judging nobody. Like, do you know what the word judgment mean? 
Like, what the hell are you yeah. talking about? God, only God could judge. But God also tells us how to live, too. Yeah. So if he tells you how to live, then live it. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Get out of here. Um, it's ridiculous. Okay, so he asked us two things. All right, what do he say? All right, first thing he asked us, um, did we watch the All-Star Weekend? No. No, I didn't. No, I didn't watch that. Um, he what said, do you guys think more people, especially women, should carry guns to arm and protect themselves? Um, I think women need to learn how to carry themselves in here first. And, and, and changing themselves within. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. carrying a gun is not going to change in, inside first. I mean, uh, a gun is just one aspect. I think, um... Mm-hmm. I think um, how you carry yourself is very important. How you talk to people, having respect for people. Um, you know, like your mentality has to be, you know, right and exact. It just can't, a, a, a gun can only do but so much. You digging what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so, what do you say? Uh, I, I do think that people should protect themselves. Of course they do. Of course they do. Of course they do. Especially women, because, you know. Of course they do, but by protecting yourself is having that knowledge, having that information. That's right. protecting yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you know, I mean, like I said, people go. I mean, people going people gonna do whatever they want to do. I mean, what I'm saying, they like whatever. I I I I I'm gonna wear this freaking revealing dress. I don't care who don't like it. That's how they feel. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. But. It comes with stuff at the end of the day. So be ready for it. You know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't want you I wouldn't want no woman wearing that with her boobs showing around my children. I want I don't want my little children I don't want my children seeing that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I don't want like my like why I think like, especially like as a mom. Yeah, like they, they like your mom, like why well, I can see like mom, I can see her That's boobies. It. Like <laughs> I don't need my you know what I mean? I don't need my it's just like it's just it's a certain behavior. It, it, you know, it got to stop. What do you say? Sometimes prevention, prevention is the best, is the best method. method. Yeah, it is. It is, Tay. Yeah. But yeah. they don't, they don't want to. They don't yeah. want to. They want people to accept them the way they are. Mm-hmm. We don't live in a society like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? If that's the case, then accept anything. Right. Come on now. What else we got? Um, like what else we got? You know, Cause like we kind of freestyling off the topic, but um, <laughs> yeah, we're kind of like. <laughs> um, what else we got? Um, will will she show her son that picture they took? Probably. She I'm probably sure she probably don't care. Shit. She probably don't care. She probably. I mean, she was really arguing yeah. people down about the picture that she took. Yeah, people don't care. They want to do what they want. You know what I mean? They want to do what they want. And she said her baby daddy don't care either, so... I guess he don't. <laughs> because know why? He took that picture with her, so I guess he don't. Nah, he don't. Can't be, can't be my woman. Nah, we ain't... Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. She had the nipple covers. Yeah, and, uh, man. Like, nah. That was like a pulley see-through dress. Yeah, no... It's no... um. Yeah, he said, yeah, it, it was clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah she don't, he don't care. So it is what it is. Crazy. But, but if you love your children, raise your children right, man, with morals and values, man. You have to chastise them. You have to discipline them. And you have to teach them right from wrong. Um, If we don't teach our children right from wrong, then they're going to be a statistic. And, and something. It's as simple as that. Especially like from birth is definitely important. Yeah, like yeah, like, yeah, like, like as soon as they come out of the womb, you got to be giving them like, the game. As soon as they come you out, you got to give them the game. You got to be on it, bro. Yeah, you got to, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but this going to go on deaf ears because people don't care. So, but I just know if you got children, raise them right. I mean, watch what yeah. they doing. Um, uh, watch what they doing on the internet. You know, uh, make sure you got the, those uh, parent 
um, uh, control things on they they phones, they on their tablets or whatever. Make sure y'all be watching what they be, who they be talking to, all that. You got to be really hands on with your children today, especially today, because the internet is a lot of it's a lot of creeps on this internet, bro. That's trying to. Too much access to stuff on the internet. Man, they do. Too much. Too much. And nobody talking about it. I also think parents should be giving their kids internet too early, too. So, what's the. So, let me ask you a question. What's the age that they should have a cell phone and and, and, and have access to the internet? Um. (laughs) Yeah. Because I, okay, I grew up on the internet, and I was twelve. You for me? When did you and I literally grew phone? up on the internet. But when you, you first, know, but when you first got a phone, though. Yeah. You was about. I was like fourteen. Nah, you had not nah, like we got you a tablet. We got you a she tablet. No, but she had a tablet when young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you was young. She was probably like eleven yeah. when she got her first tablet. And see, especially when you have Hold you up, but I think, I think the kids, proper reason I think yourself. kids should have um, internet at teenage, a teenager. That's cool. Monitored. Monitored, right. How about, how not, about. Not like overly monitored, but monitored. What you mean, but, well, hold on, but what you mean, but what <laughs> you mean. you don't want them to rebel because you're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? But definitely involved in knowing what they're but what you doing. Yeah, but like, so what you mean, but like, what you mean, like over, like, like what you mean like, over, like, I'm, I, I'm trying to understand what you're saying. I don't saying. know how to explain it. <laughs> nah, nah. Like, I don't want, like, I don't want to, like, I want my kids to be trusted on the internet enough, just like, how you trust me? How but, I always trust it. But you, you know can't, saying? but you can't, but you can't expect but I'm going to monitor. I'm going to be involved no. enough to know what's going on on their phone. Yeah, but you can't expect them to to know what not to look for unless you teach them what not to look for. Right. No, but you by the time I can get a no, phone, like saying. you're already no. going to have that communication and trust. Like you're right. going to already like when you pass me when you pass me my first phone. Right. I knew what not to look at and what to look at. Right. right. And you already had to trust. You know. Right. Right. Oh, it's the same thing. I'm not finna. <laughs> I'm not finna babysit you because if right. that's the case, you don't need a phone. Right, right. But I'm gonna. I'm going to be involved and I'm going to monitor what you're looking at, regardless. What's that? Okay. Uh, give me an age of young females when they start wearing makeup. What's the age? Oh, that's like child. <laughs> yeah. What's the age on that? What's the age on that? So if my kid wants to wear makeup. She's gonna have to wait. To, like what age? Lip gloss. What age then? She gets a lip gloss. I, I, like, but what age though? Like, see, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like makeup. And I'm gonna teach my daughter, you know, like you're beautiful without it. I'm gonna be giving her all the, like, you right. don't need to wear it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So she's gonna be old enough to make the decision, like, I'm wearing it regardless. Right. You gotta be like, yeah, 17, 18, 19, you know. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Or, like, like all right, you grown. Like, if you want to wear it, wear it. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, um, gonna... parents, but parents today don't have, like, like they don't have boundaries on, yeah. on like, they letting their children just do stuff too young. Like, and, the only, way, the you know only I mean? thing my teenage daughter can get is, like, lip gloss. Like, I, I, I was wearing lip gloss when I was younger. Like, I feel like... I, as a teenager, lip gloss I just feel is, like... You know, that's what I wear. Like, I feel like makeup, like, I feel like makeup is, um... I, I, like I just think overrated. I think um, a lot of times people don't need it, but they, but they put it on. Like makeup messes up your skin. It exactly. um it it uh really damages your uh, skin. Like put too much on. Face, and I don't want yeah. my teenage daughter affecting her face. Right. At a teenager. Like. I think a good like I think a good age of makeup. I would say probably, but light though. Light Not makeup. Pounds. You ain't wearing pounds. But I'm saying light. I say I say about. I say light. I say about sixteen. You know what I mean? Yeah, like light makeup. I'm not ODing. When you look like a whole different person, but you know, like like sixteen. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. Teddy said the same thing. Yeah, sixteen. That's that's cool. You know what I mean? Light though. I mean light though. Like I I don't, like I don't want 
Like, I don't want her looking like, I don't want you looking like freaking, got freaking Michael Myers or something over there. You over here looking like yeah. Michael Myers. You looking totally different. You know what I'm saying? You wake up, yo, imagine how many dudes wake up in the morning to a girl they uh, met in the club and they had a one night stand job and then they wake up the next morning and like, yo, who the, who the freak is that? Like, they, like, I met you in the club last night? For real? Yeah, like, it be that way. That's crazy over there. They be like, they, I mean, yo, like, how many layers they be putting on their face? About ten? Five. Five? What? Five. Six. Oh my God. You know, you got the foundation, the concealer, you feel me, the blush, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Crazy, yo. <laughs> they got the bacon powder, they got the powder, top of the powder, you know what I'm saying? So, it, it, it's hectic, like. So, a lot of them, so, a lot of them walking around here, they, they, uh, like, like a lot of them was pretty or or, or or and beautiful when they had the makeup on, but when they yeah, take it off, they like they like a two daughter. or three. Yeah, I don't want my daughter getting into that. Like no. Oh like, man. Like, oh man. Like my daughter ain't even have a chance to breathe. Like no. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh yeah, man. That's why I, you know, sixteen a good age. You know, it's a good age, but light though. Light makeup. I feel like teenage, teenagers, yeah. Like, yeah, light, you know, light, but. Teenage years is, yeah. He says, uh, shoot, he said, telling them, it said, telling you makeup, be saving some of these. Uh, yeah. I, How do you feel about, wait, what? That's another story for another time right there about the female makeup situation. Woo! Man, without it? No, facts, DJ, that's facts. Like, without um, it? Without it on, I'm saying. If you don't, if you don't put a lot on, then you wouldn't have to use a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um. Okay. So mom asked me, how do you feel about waiting to do things till it's age appropriate? Cause me and pops always laugh and like talk about it because um a lot of the things I got, I was of age and I understood and I was old enough to have it basically. Right. Which is like why, like you know, I ain't get a phone until I was like you know late teen, and we also got my nose, my nose ring. How right. I I didn't have a piercing um, right, right, right. when I was younger. Right, 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 right. You know, just certain little things. Like now, I can wear makeup if I chose to, right, and like right. stuff like that. Like I agree with it. Right, I, right. I I see why I waited to right. do a lot of things, and I plan to like also raise my kids the same way and not giving them things so early on right man because right some things need to wait some i, I just let kids be kids like bingo bingo you are a teenager <laughs> let the teenager be a teenager exactly because bingo. when you're grown yeah. you got a whole bunch of grown like i get it i get it like you right. have a bunch of grown years to do whatever you want to do you feel me whatever whatever but them teenage years, you don't got those forever, and right. certain things come. Right, he said. Let, he said right. Yeah, Tay said right. Let kids be kids. Yeah, they don't want. They don't want to be kids yeah. no more. They want to be grown too fast. Like you don't even see kids outside playing tag no more. Playing, uh, playing yeah. double dutch. You don't. You know what I mean? Like you don't see dudes playing two hand touch in the street, playing football and all that. You know they don't be like they don't be doing none of that like that. Like you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's not it's not the same as it once was back back then. Yeah. All right. All right okay. Like, okay. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? So I, I I just everything should be aged at certain ages when you're raising your children. You know what I mean? Otherwise, the internet gonna be raising your children or some uh, some other influences, and then you're gonna get mad and be like, yo, like like um like uh, most parents say, well like. Is the, the the world is bad? No, you bad because you ain't because you ain't raising your children. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Communication go a long way. I'm telling y'all, communication. Who else gonna Who else gonna have a conversation with your children? But you. But and I feel and I feel like it's, it's too <laughs> many kids like that just try to be grown and like bro. Facts. And then you're gonna spend your grown years regretting trying to be grown when you was younger. The facts. Because now you actually have to be grown, and now you're actually grown, and exactly. you spent all that time as a teen trying to act older than you really were. Exactly, facts. Like facts. so. So it said, yeah, Chase said, because they be, once you get get grown, that's it. Yeah, like wish you you, like yeah. yeah, well, like you can't get the years back. It's over. Yeah. 
It's, you can't get but that. That's a, I feel like um, it was a really good thing that you made me wait to start my YouTube, even though I hated it. The fact that I had to wait <laughs> because sure. I really wanted to. Right. Because um, I was breaking pops for a YouTube channel since I was like eight. And right. I didn't get it until I was 12. So. Right. Yo, subscribe. A lot of years. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe too, man. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, please follow. You know what I'm saying? S support. I'm full. Yo, I'm full time in. I'm locked in now. You dig what I'm saying? I'm back. Famey Table Talk is dead. Is over with. I'm. I'm yeah, yo. My name is Yakan Gabal. That's how I'm rolling from now on. I'm coming with all type of content. I'm coming for these dudes head top. Straight up. No compromising. I ain't I ain't pulling no punches. Full fledged. Straight up. So um, I, I'm gonna be talking about everything what everybody else is talking about. I'm talking about that, John. I'm 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 getting in. And when I get in, my perspective is different than anybody else. Everybody else is 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 they have a political stance. I'm out I'm outside the box. I'm I'm unorthodox. So, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And if anybody know me, you know, I'm back now. That's it. You know I me. Mean? No more taking those days off. Full fledged now. Straight up. And I'm coming at a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I'm bringing the truth. You know what I mean? The most high truth, though. Not mine. The most high truth. Straight up. So, you know what I mean? I. I'm out selling out for the bag. All it, me and Leah been doing this for about six years. We ain't sell out yet. She just hit 500K. So I ain't selling out for nothing. I'm going to give you the real. I think it's heavy you know what I'm saying? No, like, no fake, no oh. phony. I'm giving y'all the real. Straight up. Yeah. Straight like that. You know what I mean? For real. Um... Any questions though before we get up out of here? Cause we about to we about to we about to shut it down. But I'll be back tomorrow though. You dig what I'm saying? So like any questions, y'all got any questions? May y'all wanna let me say something real fast or something? May you salute to Demonte, man. He been down for he been down for years, man. You know what I mean? Get that boy a shout out. Shooting always in the building, supporting. You know what I mean? Um, who else is up in here? Um, DJ, DJ's on kick though. Aaron, Aaron's on kick. And Aaron, man, who, who um, you said DJ? Yeah. DJ, DJ man, salute, man, salute. I mean, salute to y'all. You dig what I'm saying? Everybody who you said pops, you want to break down the meaning of the name? If you have, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's my spiritual name. You know what I'm saying? When I got down with the Most High, um, this brother. Gave me and my wife um, our names. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's 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 pronounced Yakan. Ya. Yakan. It means gracious. Um Gabal means warrior. So it means gracious warrior. So it's my well, personality. Pops actually, like Pops has actually had this name for like mad long, like <laughs> A decade. <laughs> yeah, for a minute. Like, he's had it for a mad long. But, yeah, but Family Table Talk is... That's his new name for y'all. You know what I mean? Though. So that's it. So if you want to call me... Yeah. Call me your Khan. It's your Khan. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, straight up. Full-fledged, man. Subscribe, salute to everybody in the building. I got... I got... Listen, I got more to come, man. I ain't, I, yo, I'm not, I'm not slacking. I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going I'm to build up. I'm going to build up. I'm going to build up. You dig what I'm saying? Right here, right here. Just, this, was just, this was just the start. Yeah, day one, man. Pop's got a lot. Yeah, like, day one. has got a lot to talk about. Yeah, tomorrow, listen. Be here tomorrow. I got something special. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, uh, um, um. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell y'all since y'all in here, I'm... Going at that boy Kanye West because he said some things I ain't like, so I got some some videos I'm about to get on him about. Um, I, I'm going at them Hebrew Israelite cats too. I'm going at them because they be out here lying, blaspheming against the Most High, telling people that the Most High ain't dealing with the other nations and they lying. And, and I'm gonna prove through the scriptures that they be lying. And, and 
That's how I'm coming. I'm coming with video and information. For I'm, I'm not playing no games with these boys. No games. Straight up. And um, this live right here going to be on YouTube. So y'all can go back. And I'm going to put this live on YouTube. And then, and then I'll put out shorts too. But tomorrow is back to like a compacting the information. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. I'm 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 coming. It been time. I've been Coco. Coco Bean in the building. You know what I'm saying? Who's who is this guy? <laughs> he crazy. He always clowning. He's a troll. Coco Bean, what's good with you, bro? But no. Uh, tasted. So this is so basically Pops renamed rebranded Famous No Talk to his channel. So the YouTube is under the same as the Twitch and Kick. Yeah. We basically switched from Family Table Talk to his new name yeah. and rebranded. So, yeah. It's you know the saying? same YouTube and everything. It just is new names. Yeah. You know I mean, Yakan, that's my name. Yakan Gabal. Grace's yeah. Warrior. I'm coming. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'm coming at that boy Kanye West pulling out videos on him. Talking about the music industry. I'm going at them Hebrew Israelite cats for being out here freaking discouraging other nations of people telling them that the most high ain't dealing with them they blaspheming the um the most high straight lying so so i'm coming at them boys straight like that yeah i don't care if they don't like it i don't share the video do whatever you got to do i'm coming for any any anything and everybody no prisoners straight up straight up straight like that you know what I mean? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep growing, I'm going to keep growing, I'm going to keep growing, I'm going to keep growing. And then the, the all of a sudden pops. I mean, like then I'm going to be a household name. Watch. You know what I mean? People going to know who I am, all that. Watch. I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not compromising nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Full fledged on these dudes. You know what I mean? Straight like that. Because I've been quiet. I've been chilling. I've just been watching. I've been paying attention. But there's certain things that's just bothering me in this world, man, and and people be misled with all this buffoonery. So, I'm coming though, and, and I know the views is low, but I ain't worrying about the views right now. Watch, watch, I'ma get them straight like that. Yeah. W W pops. You know I mean, same way we got the uh uh a lead channel. Where's that? Same thing gonna happen on this one. Coming. So, let I me mean, be ready for that. Word up. That's so, yo, subscribe to, to to the YouTube. Subscribe to the Twitch and the Kick. Show some love, man. Show some love. You know what I mean? This, yo, just come hang out. You know what I mean? Come support. That's all I ask for. You know what I'm saying? I might end it. Watch and listen. And, yeah, you know, man. Don't say nothing. Come support. Or just... Come support. But the same thing, yo, but the same thing all them other dudes be talking about, when they be sitting there talking about celebrities and, oh, yeah, I'm coming for that too, baby. <laughs> I'm coming for that too, baby. Yeah, because see, see, I got to eat. And I'm going to eat because um, these dudes been mis misrepresenting, you know what I'm saying, the, the um, people with all these bull crap. Right. One day these dudes supposed to be positive, then the next day they negative. They over here beefing with dudes online, but you supposed to be positive though. Which one is it? So I'm, so I, yo, I'm, but I'm, but I'm gonna show y'all videos on how these dudes is frauds. You, yo, you will never see me on the internet beefing with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't see me in there beefing with nobody. I'm not going back and forth. That's negative. See me in the flesh. <laughs> I'd rather see you in the flesh than be sitting here going back and forth, misguiding the uh, the uh, people. Like we already got too much of that anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it's crazy out here. Yeah, man, so salute. Su subscribe to all, all three of the joints, man. YouTube, Twitch, and Kick, man. Subscribe. Pops, listen, your kind is coming, man. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Straight up. I'm coming. Wait, do we have a YouTube command? Let me see. Let me see. See if that... Oh, no, I'm about to make sleeping. No, he's... Uh, on your mother says she think Nightbot is sleeping. Not so that'd be cool yeah, seeing, seeing the stuff to talk yeah. about. All right, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt, Tay. Eh? No doubt. But, um, I put the...
I'll put the kick in the YouTube in the chat for y'all. So. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, Conga bomb coming tomorrow. Be ready for the mall, baby. <laughs> he dudes is he dudes is crazy out here, bro. He dudes is crazy. You know what I mean? Miss miss misrepresenting misrepresenting. You know what I'm saying? Just lying out here, man. Like too much. I I yo like I've been sitting back like when the last time we did family table talk? It was like what? Like a year? About two years? Nah, it was longer than that. About three years ago. Right? Um, Tay, just just send it to me, and I'll like yeah. send it to him so he can talk about it. If y'all have topics y'all want to hear, like pop talk about, let him know, bruh. Y'all can let him know in the chat, or y'all could just hit me up if y'all got contact. Yeah. Full fledged though, full fledged. I'm coming, I'm coming for these boys. These boys, these these dudes do not deserve to be in a position because they misrepresenting everything. They frauds out here. They frauds. You either positive or you negative. Period. It ain't no in between. You can't be. Nah, we ain't doing none of that. We ain't doing none of that. We got too many wishy washy people straddling the fence. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we ain't doing that. I'm positive, all the way. But I'm going. But I'm. But I'm gonna give you that heat, even though I'm positive. I gotta tell you the truth. I can't sit here and sugarcoat it. How we gonna change if we over here straddling the fence? Can't do that. That's that's like, like like that that is hypocrisy. That is fine. You a hypocrite. Positive, ain't nothing wrong with that. Straight up, man. So salute, subscribe, y'all. Follow y'all. I see y'all tomorrow. Hurry <laughs> right up. See y'all tomorrow. Peace. Um, click the stops. How you click the start? Yeah.